It's been nearly a year since our last update from federal officials on negotiations that would clear the way for the completion of this final stretch of the Okanagan Rail Trail between Beaver Lake Road and just north of Kelowna International Airport, but there's little progress to report. Plans to transfer the land that used to be the CN Rail Line to the Okanagan Indian Band are tied up in an additions to reserve process that has dragged on for years. So although the government had promised a, uh, an expedited process and with uh, additions to reserve, we've been at this now since uh, we think we first started. I think we're close to maybe four years, if not going closer to five. You know, with the federal government on additions to reserve, there's always an excuse. Uh, then we're dealing with the right-of-ways that are existing in there. Then there's the environmental assessment and cleanup since uh, it's going to be turned back to reserve again. We don't want, want a problem uh, environmentally when you look at this type of situation. You know, when you think about uh, what's been hauled over rails, uh, you know, for the last uh, hundred odd years. The long wait leaves cyclists with few safe options to travel between Kelowna and Lake Country. Ultimately, a cyclist that choose to use some of the workarounds that I, uh, I know exist, um, they might technically be trespassing, they might technically not be following the rules, and we certainly wouldn't encourage that. It would be best for everyone uh, for this to be completed, and, and we really hope that both parties come to an agreement, that all parties come to an agreement, because ultimately that's going to benefit our local residents with the infrastructure, with the recreation, and bring more tourism dollars to our city. When and if all the roadblocks are removed, the city of Kelowna says the design is complete, funding is available, and a contractor has been chosen to complete this section of the Okanagan Rail Trail. For Castanet News, I'm Cindy White.